Midoriya. Oh yeah, the call out know last episode. I, you. I feel like he just pushed all of class 1A harder though by saying this. Everyone woke up. It's good. It's good to have the right rivals. I'll be aiming for the top two. Speaking of aiming higher and having the right motivation, right? Todoroki kind of created stakes for everyone in their own quirky ways. Get it? Our players are racing against each other in a vicious battle. We'll continue to bring you live updates and pulse-pounding action thanks to the camera robots placed around the course. Why did he leave? <laughs> the mic picked that up. They obviously went through a lot of trouble, but I wish they'd prepared something a little more difficult. Especially since my dear old dad is watching. I bet Todoroki has some stuff too. He's got some stuff to work through. Lots of pressure. But if Todoroki is partially inspired by Zuko, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Maybe he'll come to a superhero vision that is uniquely his own. You think we should try and help him? Are people seriously gonna die here? <laughs> some valid questions. <laughs> I'm alive! For now. His power makes his entire body hard as a rock. That means he can be the ultimate shield or a devastating weapon. That actually does seem like a really, really useful power. Is he steel? <laughs> oh no, he just made Kirishima look kind of... Yeah, yeah, that sounds familiar. I don't know, in Pokemon, steel beats rock. Ah, but fire. Fire would take down steel guy. He'll be rich in no time. You can do that? <laughs> Hanta Sero. Alright, I'm trying, I'm trying. Let's land. Aye, aye. The shadow talks. He's got a shadow like monster inside him that can materialize and morph into any creation he wants. Huh. So it's like a different entity. He's a companion too, that's nice. He'll never get lonely. It's not that one B and the other students are doing poorly. It's just they they're excellent. Class one A's learn not to hesitate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a crazy first week of their high school career. Quite the education. They've been in actual battles. This is nothing. In what the real world is like. Right, right. They felt the fear of facing villains. There's no substitute for experience. They've grown, all of them. Yeah, and not just their powers. They have to act quickly if they want to stay alive. Some good commentary, Aizawa. Keep it up. This thing won't let up. You must have me targeted. It's moving so quickly. Some vendetta for what you did to his friend. <laughs> and use it as a shield if I need to. Yeah. Interestingly, like, Deku's natural disadvantage will make him better if he survives it, you know? He has to become more adept at handling the situations. Did she just alchemy a cannon? That's amazing. They're just slow, dumb hunks of metal. Pretty easy to hit. As long as you land a smart shot, that is. You would know something about landing shots, wouldn't you? I've asked so much of you, young Midoriya. You really have. You don't have to come in first. Just get to the next round. Yeah, this is an interesting risk for All Might. Right? The fact that he's aware of it makes it forgivable and acceptable, you know, but he doesn't live in a normal level of expectations. He's just otherworldly. This might not be true of All Might necessarily, but I just feel like this situation naturally contains danger. When you see someone else as being responsible for your own goals, you know? It's a little weird because you're no longer seeing the person. You're seeing your own desire and the other person is a vehicle for that. So there's some recipe there for not having the proper regard or concern for their best interests and overall just some emotional weirdness. But I think what Deku did right is he seems to be finding a way to make it matter to him personally. It doesn't seem like he's being motivated from All Might's insane pressures. He's not doing this just because he wants to make All Might happy. Deku's doing this because he believes in it and so that makes all the difference. <laughs> The answer is money. Yes! Oh yeah, this is perfect for Sue. Finally, this is my chance to show off what I can do. NPCs trying to make their way into the story. Everyone, observe what my brilliant gadgets can do. Gadgets, huh? Is that even a quirk? We're allowed to bring whatever gadgets and costumes we want into the game, so long as we develop them ourselves. Mm. So sit back and enjoy the show. So does that mean it's possible to be a hero even without a quirk? Because she just built that, right? That's a potential avenue for people who really want to do the career but aren't born into the, the 80%. It's like the villain in The Incredibles. Super cute little babies are sure to make it flash. Cute little babies, huh? That's one way to put it. I feel like her level of excitement way outmatches the actual impressiveness of the invention. It's basically a grappling hook and a fan. Interesting. What are you hiding? <laughs> Popular without a flashy quirk. Right, eraser head? 
I don't know what you're talking about, idiot. Yeah, he's relatively unknown, right? Get it? He's finally getting fired up. Get it? <laughs> you suck! <laughs> uh, get it? <laughs> My older brother's probably watching this. Everyone's like foolish. got some kind of family pressure, it seems. Some kind of external pressure. But it's his natural athletic talent and keen judgment keeping him in first place. And his drive. His incredible drive. Endeavor, yeah, it is Endeavor. That speaks well of Todoroki, I think. Because I think there are two common ways that would often go. One way is that he would be complacent. He would feel like he was guaranteed a top spot because of his lineage. Or the Todoroki way, which is that he actually doesn't see it as a given and tries to earn it. Which is not necessarily a totally healthy thing. It all depends. But it does seem better than like using his status as a weapon, right? By the way, those red lines were designed for the game, so they might be loud and flashy, but they're not all that powerful. Makes sense. Oh, yeah, he must have been insulted that he called out Midoriya, not him. You got your little uh, shield thing. Do a slide. Thanks for the idea. Touch on. There you go. <laughs> How is this non lethal again? <laughs> I gotta think about this. These landmines go off if you step on them. They're not that powerful. He did all this? I thought he was just like sliding and they were all blowing up. Oh no. I'm losing speed. This is bad. Again, if I don't time this landing right, <laughs> the monologuing while falling. I have to take them out of the running. I oh my god! Oh, I thought he was gonna kill them. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. He knows, he knows. This has nothing to do with me. Humble as always. Wow. Well, I mean, he deserves it. He really put it all on the line. He could have died. He fought the sludge monster. Oh yeah, they were there for that. He's getting attention. Mmm. Lots of attention. Lots of attention. I bet Shigaraki really loves the this competition. He seems like he's a big fan. Big superhero fan. So I guess people don't recognize his weaker form. That's why he's able to sit there like that. People don't put it together that he's All Might. At your core, you want to help others. That's why I chose you, young Midoriya. But in all honesty, I also thought your selflessness could be your weakness. Hmm. Yeah, there's that duality to this whole profession. Because it's about helping people if you're centered right. But you gotta play the game. And I guess that's true for a lot of pursuits, right? You want to do something that feels pure, but you're incentivized very strongly to kind of game the system. Or do things that you might not want to do, but you know give you an edge. YouTube is sort of a great example of that. There are a lot of behaviors on YouTube that everyone's aware of, and a lot of people don't like. But it's not a coincidence or accident that you see those behaviors again and again. They're there because they work. Things like clickbait and commanding people to do things on the channel, you know, people faking events in their lives. You know, there's so many temptations and I think it becomes easy to justify that if you feel like it's the only way to succeed. And you can always point a finger at someone else and say like, well, they're doing it, but it's kind of a slippery slope because once you start justifying things you really don't like or you think are wrong, you sort of cross the line, you know? And then where does it end? I feel like it's not a good process. And part of the problem exists on the consumption side too. As long as people choose those things, the incentive exists to do those things. We often think about things being production driven or like creator driven but a lot of the time it's it's a cycle it's interplay usually systems like that or any system with a lot of people everyone who participates is partially responsible for the system which is why i think the winning philosophy even though it's sort of cliche is to be the change that you want to see i think it's obvious that midoriya's stock is about to go up not so fast he's still an unknown since we have no idea what his quirk is imagine for a second that an agency was to take him on <laughs> the the business students doing their thing cultivate their instincts by selling things or running market simulations. They have a lot of free time. Yeah, maybe Bakugo joined the wrong class. The contestants are pouring in one after the other. Let's hear some applause. Yeah, you talked to big game, Todoroki. Prepare the results. He won without any powers. So. I can't believe you got first place in <laughs> Aw, Ida. It's not like I had some big plan. I tried a few things that worked out better than I could have hoped for. Hey, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> I was just lucky, that's all. That's how it feels sometimes. What comes next? Now he's got a target on his back. Two birds with one stone. I'm a genius. <laughs> you are the worst. 
disappointed in your first round performance, Minuto. Now let's take a quick look at the standings, shall we? <laughs> the handcuffs are a bit much, but okay. A lot of people I don't know. All right, he's still in the game. My horse is still, he's still in it. I'm all invested in this tournament now, I just realized. I'm glad Sue made it too. Colander Man made it. All these cool looking heroes that we'll never know. <laughs> like Pony Girl. So did all of Class A make it? Cavalry battle. Terrible at those. You know what that is? The participants will form teams of two Cute to picture. people as they see fit. Oh no, making your own groups in school is always a nightmare. The point assignments go up by increments of five, starting from the bottom. For example, forty second place is worth five points, and forty first is worth ten. And the point value assigned to the first place contestant is ten million. Wow, that escalated. Yep, target on his back. Winning the first round does not seem like the best move, in hindsight. <laughs> do do do! <laughs> I can't help myself. Help me! <laughs> this may be my favorite... ending... of all time. <laughs> it just makes me feel so special. The perfect show ever starts with Red Swan <laughs> and ends with do do do. That's my, my dream team right there, my opening and ending dream team. I don't even know what this song is called. It's called do 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 from now on. Well... I am very invested in the outcome of this tournament now. I went from being kind of skeptical to being full in, all the way in. Deku's win was a little bit ridiculous. He should have died, but I like all the things the tournament is bringing out. These kinds of things reveal a lot about people. That's interesting. In my last school that I taught at in China, we had an annual sports day and it was a big deal because it was the students and the teachers competing. So it was a chance for students to be on a level playing field. And there was a lot at stake. And for one of them, I played on the teacher's team in the students versus faculty basketball game. And it was so intense, I, I fractured a rib. One of the students actually took a shot at me, but we won which is all that matters. But I also ended up getting smoked in the 100 meter dash. That was embarrassing. But I remember it gave me new appreciation for students. There's a feeling of, I didn't know you had that in you, you know? It's kind of cool. You never know, you never know. There's always something fun about having a certain group infrastructure and then mixing it up and seeing other people shine. But yeah, Deku won, Minata is still in the running. So I'll see you guys next time for the continuation of the tournament and Deku's death.